Hello everyone, today we are diving into the vibrant world of color grading B-roll footage using DaVinci Resolve. We'll craft this warm cinematic look that is perfect for storytelling that touches the heart and stirs nostalgia. Additionally, I'll guide you through enhancing this aesthetic with the Dehancer Pro plugin. If you don't have the Dehancer Pro plugin though, no worries. I have plenty of other tutorials focusing only on DaVinci Resolve's built-in tools. So, let's get started and dive into the magic of color grading. B-roll footage offers several advantages over traditional log footage, one of the most significant being the flexibility to alter camera settings after filming. To access this feature in DaVinci Resolve, you'll start by clicking on the first tab in the workspace. Here, ensure you select Decode using Clip instead of Project. This adjustment will allow you to modify specific settings for each clip individually. For instance, here you can adjust the color science model, or tweak the white balance, and even change the ISO to correct exposure issues right from this panel. This level of control is invaluable for fine-tuning your footage to achieve the perfect look. I also recommend keeping the highlight recovery option enabled to preserve details in the brighter parts of your image. I think this feature can be a lifesaver, especially when working with footage that has tricky lighting conditions. For this particular clip though, I'll retain the original camera settings as they already provide a solid foundation for what we are aiming to achieve in our color grading session. Okay, first off, in my project settings, I've set our timeline color space to DaVinci White Gamut Intermediate. Why choose this? Well, it's because it perfectly preserves the extensive dynamic range and rich colors of our B-roll footage, allowing us greater flexibility during grading. Now, what I do differently in today's tutorial is the input color space transform. While you can certainly apply an input CST to take your B-roll footage from Blackmagic color space to DaVinci White Gamut Intermediate, I'll skip the input color space transform for this particular clip. The reason is pretty straightforward. Since we are working with B-roll footage, which already aligns well with DaVinci White Gamut, skipping this step keeps the footage's uh, original quality intact and cuts down on unnecessary processing. In other words, it's all about maintaining the true characteristics of what we shot. So, it is a choice and you can try both and see which one works best for your clips. As for the final output CST, I'll target Rack 709, 2.4 as our output color space. This ensures that our graded footage will look correct on standard displays, uh, which is crucial for broadcast uh, compatibility. Additionally, I'll set a max output level of 10,000 nits to embrace the high dynamic range, uh, making sure we capture every detail from the brightest highlights to the deepest shadows in our final product. Alright, now let's set up our note tree for primary color grading. First, I'll add three notes and name each one to keep our workflow organized. Okay, we'll start with the contrast note. To ensure we preserve mid-tones accurately, especially around key areas like the subject's face, I'll use the qualifier tool. Simply click on the face to create a key point on our curves. This ensures that as we adjust our contrast, you know, the mid-gray around 18% remains unaffected and stable. Now we can tweak the blacks and whites. By adjusting these points, we can enhance the contrast, giving our image uh, more depth and definition without losing detail in the shadows or highlights. Next, let's move on to the balance note. For this, I'll be using uh, the HDR global wheel in DaVinci Resolve. As I make adjustments, I keep my eyes on the vector scope on the right bottom corner to ensure our image is becoming color neutral. The goal here is to center the image on the vector scope, which indicates a balanced uh, neutral color. Here you can also fine-tune the color balance using the tint and temperature sliders on the sides of the global wheel. 
Let's go ahead and decrease the magenta slightly to refine our color correction further. All right, I think this is a great start to our grading process, uh, creating a solid foundation for further enhancements. Lastly, in our primary grading, let's check the exposure of her skin. For this step, we'll switch to the waveform monitor. This is a great tool to accurately assess exposure levels across the image, especially for critical elements like uh, skin tones. Generally, for daytime scenes, skin exposure should ideally sit around the 512 level on the waveform monitor. Let's check it using the qualifier tool. Okay, I think it's at a good level, so I'm not going to make any exposure adjustments. Alright, we're done with the primary grading. Now we can shift our focus to crafting our unique visual style. For this, I'll be using the Dehancer Pro plugin, which is renowned for its exceptional ability to emulate analog film aesthetics seamlessly. Let's add it to our node tree and tweak its default settings to achieve the best results. This step is crucial in defining the distinctive visual character of our footage, giving it that uh, cinematic depth and richness. Here, what I appreciate most about Dehancer Pro is its extensive range of film profiles, which offer authentic film-like aesthetics straight out of the digital box. For this particular clip, I want to utilize the Kodak Vision 50D profile. This profile is remarkable for its vibrant color rendition and fine grain structure, uh, capturing the essence of a classic film look uh, with remarkable accuracy. Well, uh, while these film profiles from Dehancer Pro can provide a stunning look, they tend to be quite strong uh, right out of the box. Uh, I usually find it beneficial to dial back uh, the output level a bit to ensure the effect complements rather than uh, overwhelms our footage. Okay, I think now the look is coming together more naturally. Here I also want to increase the temperature a little bit, as I want this to be a warm look. Looking good. Here I will also enable uh, the film developer and film compression tools, uh, which I think are great for adjusting the contrast and dynamic range of the image, uh, simulating how different development processes and film stocks respond to light. And here comes the best part, the color head sliders. This is where I'll make precise color adjustments to achieve the warm look I'm aiming for. Perfect. Finally, let's add some halation and bloom for a more cinematic look. Now, I want to further enhance this look using DaVinci Resolve's Film Look Creator. Uh, let's add it here uh, into another parallel note. I think one of the standout tools here is the bleach bypass effect. This effect will uh, complement our look perfectly by adding a stark, vivid contrast while retaining some warmth uh, in the highlights. Here in this note, we can also experiment with some split toning to enhance the colors and add depth. This technique will allow us to introduce complementary colors into the shadows and highlights, uh, making the visuals uh, truly pop. Okay, let's toggle these effects on and off to see the difference. Looking great. Maybe one thing we can revisit is the contrast level, as I think there is still room to enhance the depth of our image. We can handle this adjustment using the enhancer uh, tool in Dehancer Pro. But before we start tweaking, let's turn on the clipping tool again inside Dehancer Pro to ensure we don't clip any highlights or shadows. Okay, now let's go ahead and fine tune the black and white levels. Good, let's check before and after again. Looking much better. By the way, if you're interested in Dehancer Pro, you can use the discount code MEDIAB10 for 10% off. It's one of my go-to tools in my workflow and I highly recommend checking it out. Now, back to the grading. As our final step, I'll add what I like to call my secret sauce tools. Uh, soften and sharpen, contrast pop and texture pop. I place these adjustments in parallel notes to maintain control over each effect. Okay, let's see the difference. Perfect. These enhancements really bring out the depth and detail, giving our footage that final touch of polish. And there it is. 
We've taken our footage through a comprehensive color grading journey using a combination of DaVinci Resolve and Dehancer Pro, uh, from basic adjustments to our secret sauce finishing touches. I hope this tutorial inspires you to experiment with these techniques in your own projects and see just how much you can enhance your visuals. Again, thank you for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and comment if you found this helpful. Happy grading and I'll see you in the next one.